We're now going to start looking at adding schematic wiring to our drawing. And what we need to do is obviously work with a new project. I'm here, 07 SCH wiring is our new project. What I'm also going to do is create a new drawing. So I go up to new here on the quick access toolbar, click on new, and I want the AutoCAD electrical DWT, not the IEC one. I'm going to use JIC standards for this one which will be American and Imperial. So I click on OK. There's my new drawing ready to go. What I need to do is save that drawing because at the moment it's just a blank drawing. So I need to do a save as and I make sure I save it in the right place. So what we do is we go up a few levels there and we need to go into schematic wiring into our drawings folder there. And we've got a project folder set up where we set up the new project. So it's going to go in there. And what I'm going to do is give it the right naming terminology. So that will be JIC and then dash. And then we're going to call it wiring in this case. Type that in. So we'll put wiring schematic. Make sure you spell things correctly. Unlike me, not the best typist in the world. And I've put my E in the wrong place for schematic there. So JIC wiring schematic. And what we'll do, we'll give it a number one as well, just in case we need to do an extra one. So I'll click on save there. And that's my drawing saved with a particular name. Click on save again just so we've got the name there rather than the big long file path. We need to add this active drawing to the project. So like before, right click, add active drawing, apply the project default values, yes please. So now we have the drawing in the project itself. So when I click on the plus sign, there's our JIC wiring schematic drawing. Again, right click and go to properties. Give it a sheet number, so we'll call it 001, let's say, and I'll OK that. We don't need a description or a section or a subsection. But what we will do there, obviously, because we've got it set up so that the sheet comes up at the front, remember, we did that previously. It now goes 001, which means it's in the right place, it's got the right sheet number. Let's start thinking now about adding some wiring to our drawing. So I'm going to go back to the Home tab on the ribbon, check my layers, make sure they've come through, they have. There's my wires there. Now it's white at the moment. I'm just going to change that color to a red color so it stands out more on the drawing, like so. So that layer now is red. And then what I'll do is select wires and make sure that any wires I draw go on that layer. We now need to go to the schematic tab on the ribbon and we need to add some wires. Now I'm going to zoom in a bit, pan a little bit so I can see the corner of the drawing. It's right there. And then come out one notch on the mouse. Now, the reason I've done that is so that I can actually see the edge of the sheet there, so I know where I'm going. And I'm going to insert some wires and some wire numbering by using the ladder tool. Now, we did touch on this previously. Width at the moment is 4.5 inches with a spacing of 3 quarters of an inch. I'm going to change that to 15 inches with a spacing of 1 inch for each one. And I want 15 rungs in there, let's say. I want it to be one phase, so it looks like that. And yes, I do want the rungs drawn in between the buses on the ladder. So I click on OK. Specify start position of first rung. I might zoom out a bit here and just click about there. And it's just as well I did zoom out because that's quite a big ladder there. But I want it to be quite a large ladder because we're going to start adding wiring and editing wiring in a moment. So if I zoom in now, if I want to edit this particular ladder, how do I do that? Well, I've got edit wires and wire numbers here, so I can actually edit wires. I can trim wires as well. If I trim, that trims between connections, so I can trim back the ones that I don't need. So make sure that you click on a wire with the pick box like that, and you can trim those wires back like so, and then press Enter to confirm. Now, what I can do as well is I can actually add wires as well. I can edit components here. So if I look over here, what else can I do? I can delete wire numbers. I can move wire numbers. I can stretch a wire. And what I can do is I can just add wires as well if I want to. I want to add a single wire. So if I click wire here and just go wire like so, I might go from that midpoint there and go to, let's say, that midpoint in there. So if I come across, notice I can't just join to that wire. But if I come out here and join that, say, to a bus here like that, puts a connector in for me, and if I zoom in, it's even done a little hoop over to show that that wire jumps over the other one. So I can add wires very quickly. What I like is it stays in the wire command. So I can now go and add another wire. So I'll go nearest point. Now you'll notice I'm going nearest here. 
This is where snap and grid are useful. Zoom in and you'll see that you're snapping to a grid. So I can now place a wire exactly incrementally. If I just pan across and say I want it to go to that bus there, drops it in for me. If I zoom out, look, it's dropped it across the wire very nice and neatly for me. So you can see how this works really, really well. I can press enter now, job done, and I've added some new wires into my wiring schematic.